um, the first thing we should really talk about was what was the most dramatic part of this incident today, where you can still see the scaffolding that was torn loose in this incident up on the side of the building of the BGE building. That is one of the office buildings of BGE. That's at the corner of about Fayette and Park Avenue. Um, this happened earlier this morning when there was an apparent explosion in the building. BGE says this was not a gas explosion. They were doing work in the building when something happened. Witnesses on the ground said it was a very loud boom that shook buildings nearby. There were 23 people that had to be rescued in this incident, including two workers who were in that scaffolding doing work on the exterior of the building when this apparent explosion occurred, literally blowing it loose. The impact of the, uh, the blast, whatever it was, uh, caused the scaffolding to tear loose. Those two workers were rescued safely and they were rescued by firefighters who broke the windows. And you can see, if you can see that close enough, you can see the windows that were broken and then safely removed them. But 10 other workers who were in the building at the time were taken to hospitals. F the fire department, about in a briefing about an hour ago, described those injuries. 10 of those were transported to area hospitals for treatment. Nine of them are in critical condition, and we do have one of the 10 that was in serious condition. Now, just a short time ago, BGE issued a statement that has updated information or at least conflicting information to that, saying that none of the injuries appears to be life threatening. Again, no exact cause of what happened here. You can see, though, from the aerial footage we have, and I believe our helicopter is Sky Team 11 is in the air right now, that there's a lot of damage on the top of the building. According to a BGE spokesperson that we spoke to earlier, there was work being done in the building on the HVAC boiler systems when this incident happened, and it obviously caused a lot of damage to the upper floors of the building. That's the video that you can see from the, uh, from the helicopter, and those are the workers that had to be rescued who were up in the building, had to be rescued and taken out of the building by the city fire department. So at this point, we do have 23 people who were rescued in this incident, 10 of them in hospitals, the two workers who were in the scaffolding, dangling there for some time this morning, in full view of everybody downtown Baltimore this morning, uh, at a rather busy time of the day to the extent that anything downtown these days is busy, they have been safely rescued and are okay. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Jane, thank you. You were talking about the damage on top of that building. Let's get a better look from Sky Team 11 right now with Captain Roy Taylor. Uh, Captain Roy, what are you seeing? Well, right now we can tell you that the fire investigation division along with uh, building inspectors are still in the process of inspecting the damage to make sure that it is safe for construction crews or construction workers to go back inside the building. But as of right now, they're still conducting their investigation. You can see how the uh, this portion of the building is nice and clean. It looked like they were doing some type of power washing. And you can see the damage that's actually on the rooftop here where a lot of debris uh, has just pretty much blown off. From what we understand from the fire department, from the 10th floor to the roof is where they have, quote, this damage. Uh, we still don't know the cause of it, but uh, we figure it is construction related. Uh, we're still trying to get more information. Building inspectors are still doing uh, their operation here. And as we get more, we will update you reporting live in Sky Team 11. I'm Captain Roy Taylor. Okay, Captain Roy, thank you. And this reported explosion at a BGE building in downtown Baltimore, uh, like Jane mentioned, like Captain Roy mentioned, still under investigation. But what we know so far, 23 people were rescued from that building. 10 people were taken to the hospital. The incident affected the 10th floor up to the roof, as you saw the damage from that video, and then two buildings on either side were evacuated as a precaution. So that's what we know so far. You can find the latest on this breaking news in our WBAL TV mobile app. And be sure to turn on those push alerts to get any late breaking updates. Send right to your phone.